Okay, so here's where we left off. We use Ohm's law to figure out we have six amps in here, four amps in here, and two amps in here. What would be the current through the battery? It would be the sum of all those. Six plus four plus two gets you to 12. So 12 amps flows through here, and then it starts to split up. Six amps flows down through this branch, four amps down through this branch, two amps down through this branch. And so and it makes sense that this branch would have the most because it has the least resistance and therefore the most current would want to flow through there. Notice, by the way, let's figure out the total resistance. There's two ways to do it. You could think, you could use Ohm's law and you could say voltage equals current times resistance. So 12 volts equals 12 amps. These are the totals times some resistance. What would that resistance be? One ohm. But let me show you another way that you can find it using the equation. Notice one ohm, by the way, the total resistance of a parallel circuit will always be less than the smallest one. So even before you start this, the smallest resistor is two ohms, so we know the total resistance has to be less than two ohms. It's easier to get through as soon as we open up another branch than if that two ohm was by itself. And same thing here. Doesn't matter how big the resistor is, it's gonna be easier than just the two by itself. So let's look at it in equation form. It would look like this. One over the equivalent resistance would be one over resistor one, so one over two, plus one over resistor three, so one over three, plus one over resistor, uh, sorry, one over resistor two and one over resistor three, so one over six. So one over two plus one over three plus one over six. Find a common denominator, so one over two becomes three over six, one over three becomes two over six, and we can just leave uh, the third one as it is. So three over six plus two over six is one over six, which gives you six over six. So that will simplify down. We can say one over the equivalent resistance is equal to one over one. Now, technically, although this case winds up being the one case that doesn't matter, you would have to flip that. So one over one flipped is still just one. And so that is actually the total resistance there. So let's look at one more example here. Actually, we'll skip through this one and we'll do one here. So real quick here, we have a 12 volt battery, let's say, and we have, you know what, we'll call it here. I think you're ready to do the problems. 